Hello everyone, this is a video on this really amazing, I don't know where I got it from, I'm almost certain I got given it as a throwaway by somebody, never used, a USB 2 Ethernet adapter, uh, which is quite useful if you've got a computer without built-in um, Ethernet or network connectivity, which quite a lot do these days because they're so thin now there's no space for a network connector. Um, Standard, not very good English on here, so you've got support, uh, 10 megabits a second and 100 megabits N-way auto negotiation operations, and then this cable's in the way, but I'll have a look in a minute. Integrated fast Ethernet, Mac physical chip and transceiver on die chip, I think. Uh, switch 10, 100 megabit network automatically, and USB 2 high-speed interface, right. Uh, OS X compatible, Windows 8 compatible, Windows 7 compatible. On the back it says uh, switch, well that's basically what I've said, half duplex or full duplex operation, supports flow control, supports all USB standard commands, okay, uh, supports suspending and resuming, and compatible with USB 1, 1 1.1 and 2. Supports, so I've already said, um, Windows 2000 XP Vista, Linux, Windows 7, Windows 8, and which basically means if it works with Windows 8, it should work with Windows 10. So I've got Windows 10 machine here, Etherneted into my network, doing a speed test. You see, it gets 70-ish megabits per second down. and about 20 or just under 20 megabits a second upload. So, inside here... we have the device. And... nothing with inside that, but a USB LAN driver CD for what looks like lots of different types an RD9700 and it does have the driver for the 9700 on there however you'd hope that these days especially if that was around when Windows 2000 was around that this should have drivers built into Windows now so uh, and especially as this is probably just cheap Chinese stamp it out um, they'll all be using the same chip so hopefully it's well supported but the model number is I'm not sure whether it's on it's not written on anywhere on there uh, on that bit of paperwork but the model number is KY-RD9700, so RD9700, uh, or 9700, USB 2, to fast Ethernet adapter. Let's give it a go. We'll work out there's the USB ports there. Unplug the Ethernet cable and move it around. And plug it into that. It has a nice flashing light. And uh, Windows does not yet think that it's got a connection. And in Device Manager, it hasn't been detected as a driver. So, seeing as I have no internet, I'm going to have to plug that back in and see whether a driver can be found via Windows Update. So let's search automatically. Okay, USB to Ethernet adapter. Uh, so hopefully this will work properly now when I plug it in. And yes, Windows now thinks that it has internet access, so let's do a speed test. Well, that's a very long way from 70 megabits. And the actual speed 
I saw a maximum, in fact it says there, 6.6 .6 megabits per second. And the upload speed is also in the, the same kind of realm. So, what's going on there? Um, let's see if I can get the driver installed. Is it something to do with the Windows Update driver not enabling faster speeds or not communicating uh, with the device quick enough? Let's find out. Uh, was it? It was an RD9700. USB LAN RD9700. Oh wow, that's a lot of driver folders. So Linux, Mac, WinCE, so Windows CE drivers, Windows XP drivers, Android drivers. Wow. Oh, it's, it's, it's the header files for compiling the driver. Uh, but no obvious. Oh no, there we go. XP Win8 setup. And it won't be the 32 one, so I'll try that one. Before it runs, let's just check what driver it's using. So it's using a driver from 2012 from Core Chip Semiconductor. So December 2012, version 1.0.906. See whether it changes that when I run this. Well, well, apparently can't run the software anyway. Um, let's try moving that to the hard disk in case it's something wrong with the file system on the CD. Oh, there we go, so they've shipped a CD where you can't even run the setup from the CD itself, so that's uh, great. Install. Installed, and it's made no difference to the driver, so I'm going to guess that's made no difference to the, set, uh, the speed. Nope. Right, let's unplug it and plug it back in, see whether that changes the driver that it's using. Nope. Let's delete the uh, device and redetect it. Aha, it does have a different um, device name now, so it actually says RD9700. Oh, if anything, it has an older driver date with the same driver version, so let's see whether it has the improved the speed that it performs at. No, okay, so something's wrong there. It's Mm, pretty much like that's a USB 1 uh, Ethernet card and they're just lying about it on the literature and in the driver uh, the display name there USB 2 is nothing you can just set that in the driver I could set that to USB 4 which doesn't exist and it would still display it in Windows so let's go get this amazing bit of software. If you ever need to get the serial number of a computer or what's plugged into it or what's on the uh, PCI bus or plugged in inside the machine, this CIV uh, by RH Software, System Information Viewer, is a really good program. So um, well worth using if you ever have that need. I've extracted Civ, I've run it, and I'm going to click USB bus and find the network card which I can't see. There we go, RD9700 USB fast Ethernet adapter across here. It's using 120 milliamps in power, and here's the problem it's using. Maybe not. We've got version 3 there. Yeah, well, yeah, there is USB 3 on this machine, so yes, it's U USB 1.1. So if I click on that, it's coming up as a Contron 
Industrial Computer Source, ICS Advent, Vendor, and uh, DM9601, which is different to this RD9700, but similar. Fast Ethernet Adapter, uh, product name USB 2 10100 Ethernet Adapter, but uh, I can't see it on this screen. On the previous screen, it's only connecting at USB 1.1, which explains the terrible speed. So if I disconnect that and plug it back in, let's reopen Civ. RD9700 USB 1.1 so you're never going to get more than about 6 or 7 megabits a second out of that uh, let's find out USB 1.1 speed interesting so it should be able to cope with about 12 megabits a second but I guess maybe there's a lot of overhead in the USB protocol uh, but yeah, if you have one of these and you're getting awful speeds then it's this thing is trash even with the correct driver from the driver cd which does install and windows detects it as a different driver it just is awful there's one other thing i'd like to see which is if i can find a non-usb3 port whether plugging it into a usb2 port makes any difference okay uh, it already was in a USB 2 port, so let's plug it into a USB 3 and see whether that causes any change in its uh, negotiation with the computer as to what speed it's connecting at. So there's two USB 2 ports over here. I've now plugged it in just down here in the USB 3 port. Let's do a speed test. Nope made no difference at all. So, unplug that. This device, this uh, KYRD9700 is absolute trash, unless you uh, only have a 10 megabit network or internet, which is slower than, uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> slower than about five megabits, then uh, you don't want to use one of these. Uh, chuck it away, send it back for a refund, or um, buy something decent, uh, preferably something branded rather than a unbranded Chinese thing. And what a shame, I don't like throwing away electronics, but there really is no point keeping an Ethernet adapter which can only cope with 6 megabits a second. It's off to the recycling heaven for this thing.